There's only 168 hours in a week, and especially coming out of the pandemic. So many of us have habituated our behavior. Oftentimes, especially in our busy adult lives, if we're not mindful of how we spend our time, we can really just use that time to displace boredom or discomfort or whatever it may be in ways that aren't really productive or lead to our betterment. Mindlessly scrolling social media or plopping down on the couch because you're so depleted and just mindlessly channel surfing or activities of convenience mainly because that's just the way we do things, but doesn't really necessarily fill you up. And there's a whole host of reasons why that becomes problematic. One, you're not really enjoying yourself, right? So slowly but surely you're going to get burnt out. The other is when we habituate our behavior in that way, we're not indexing new memories. So there's this idea of cognitive reserve, and it really requires us to encode new experiences, new data into our minds so that we're building those neural pathways. When we're kind of just getting along to get along, then we don't really store memories. And what we know from both quant data and then qualitative research, folks like Bronnie Ware that has amazing book, The Five Regrets of the Dying, we know that folks that haven't experienced life in joyful ways look back and they don't really have any memories to latch onto. They're sort of like, well, I went to work and I took care of the kids and that, that's what I did. But making sure that you index opportunities to experience life, to find pleasure out of the things that you do and engage in friendships in a meaningful way, these become very important, especially as we get a little bit longer in the tooth.